Yo, yo, what's going on guys? Just here back again with a another reaction. Today I'll be reacting to Ikenai de Koji Tamaki or Late Autumn. Um, um, yeah, this is the last version that I know of that's out there so far. I've listened to four of the versions uh, before this. I think this is the oldest version that I know of just because it feels like it might be. Um, but yeah, if there is an older older version of this, please let me know. Um, yeah, so this is called Ikenai de um, by Koji Tamaki. I have heard this version before because it's, it's so sad <laughs> when you hear the lyrics. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just get into this and let's see how this goes. I'll also be ranking all the versions that I've heard before with this after I finish it. Music by Koji Tamaki, song by Koji. Oh, he made this in. So he did make this song. If I were to describe this version like I did the other versions, it's like uh, it's like a person realizing that this really is the end. Like where we, she's about to leave, she's he's about she's about, she's literally about to walk out the door. Literally, it's just about to end. He's like he just kind of holds her hand and he starts singing this song like literally right there. This is like literally the end of like where she's coming to his big end and he just starts saying like these words. Oh, my. 
Yeah, we can't believe we made this song. Holy Christ. So that was uh, Koji Tamaki's Ikanaide late autumn. I have her on a seat. Yeah, yeah, this version was really awesome. Those vocals, it's so weighty but so like sad and like so emotional the way he sings it. Um, okay, okay. So yeah, this version definitely feels like a person that's just really holding a person's hand while they're about to leave and like, please don't leave, don't leave. And so like, it's, you can just feel it the way he's saying it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, you guys enjoy song music as much as I did, if so, please leave a comment in below. Don't like or subscribe. Uh, oh, yes. Alright, so if I were rank all these versions, I'd say... Ah, shit, I love Jackie Chong's version too, though. Shit, um... Alright, I'll put Ikenaide first by Koji Tamaki. Then Jackie Chong. And then, um... Um... Uh, about the instrumental that James played, but then... The Nash's vocals are also really, really good. Um, uh, I'd say the James, uh, yeah, instrumental always kills it for me. I'd say James, uh, James, what's his name, James, James Chuan, Chuan, Lee Chuan, and then Damas, um, only because, yeah, I'd say the Ikenai did first because he really feels like this is about to end. If I, if I don't sing this, but I like I like uh, Koji Tamaki's song the most because it feels like he's literally saying to the person, please don't leave, don't leave. Like, you know, it's like a person's right in front of him, he's, he's holding their hand. It's like really desperate the way he says things, the way the lyrics are written. And then I'd say, yeah, Jackie Chung version is next because his version feels like a person reminiscing about this old relationship. It can kind of just feel like this room reminiscing, reminiscing tones about this whole song. It just feel really almost... Uh, Going back and then, I don't know, Christ, yeah, okay, so, okay, here it is, Koji Tamaki, Jackie Chuan, James uh, Lee Chuan, and then Dimash, only because, even though I love Dimash's version the most, his version definitely sounded like a person who didn't realize the relationship at the end, so I feel like his version didn't have that, that really like, oh damn, this relationship could be ending, it added something of like just realizing, oh, this relationship could be ending, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? If so, please let me know. 
Uh, do you enjoy the... What's your rank for all these versions um, that you've heard? And uh, yeah, don't forget to like my subscribe button below. Just here. Oh.